around 15 hours ago at the time of recording, Emma Blackery uploaded a video about the Live Below the Line campaign. The campaign is all about poverty and helping to raise awareness as well as helping to raise funds for these people that have to live on very little money. Emma made this half an hour video and she was basically doing the challenge. She did the challenge back in April, I think it was. Now, backlash has been a bit weird. I say backlash, I mean feedback, but there's been a bit of backlash. She says right at the beginning that the video has two purposes, to raise awareness for the poverty situation and to raise funds, like I just said at the beginning, okay? She prefaces that. Okay, in the video she complains, but people that haven't had that way of life would. I have not had the highest quality of foods or anything, but I have in no way always been made to have own brand. But sometimes I've had to. Sometimes you'll have a tough week or month and that's what you have to do. Emma had to throw herself straight into that. You know, she knew there was an end, so it was uncomfortable for her. Are they getting angry that she drove? I don't know. But certainly that she used her PS4 or whatever it was she was playing on. The challenge itself, if you go to the website www.livebelowtheline.com forward slash UK forward slash challenge, the challenge is £1 a day, £5 for five days. That's it. It doesn't say change your living situation, turn off your electricity, because that's not what it's about. People can be thrown into poverty when they have great things. Sometimes the situation may call for selling those things and I am far from poverty. All I'm saying is I know that you can have nice things but not be well off. It doesn't make sense but it makes sense. She raised awareness, she did the challenge, she wants to give money to the thing. I think not only did it teach people about the situation that may have been unaware but I think it brought to a head that maybe the most expensive stuff isn't always... Okay, it probably is the best, but there are nice own brand stuff. There are so many examples of it. Literally, you can buy branded things, but I always have the store brand stuff. It's a good money saver a lot of the time, and not necessarily just because you have no money, but to prevent you from having no money. I'm a student. <laughs> Before I was a student, I would do that with my dad and my mum. It has just become a way of life to look for the cheaper versions of things and try them out. There are lower priced things that can taste just as good. I think that's something that irked a few people that she said it in such a surprised way. Like, ooh, this actually tastes decent or whatever. I think she achieved what she set out to do. She at least created discussion about the subject, if nothing else. What I said was my own opinion, and I'm sorry if that offended you, but yeah, 